Thank you for joining me in Sitam Church Online uh, to share the word of God. My name is Karita Mbagara. I'm the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. I want to tell you the story that I read from Nick Gambo, where he tells of a, of a soldier during the American Civil War. This soldier wanted access to the president so that he could ask to be exempted from joining the war because he had a family tragedy. Unfortunately, when he came to the White House, he was uh, chased away at the gate. So he went and sat in a bench opposite in a park. And while he was seated there, a boy happened to pass by and noticed how dejected he was. And he asked him, what's the issue? And he narrated the story to the boy. The boy just said, come after me. And he followed the boy. The boy led him to the back of the, of the White House. And as they entered, he realized nobody was stopping them. In fact, he realized that high-ranking officers were saluting them. At the end of it, the boy entered a room without knocking. And uh, as soon as he got in, uh, his father, who happened to be Abraham Lincoln, turned to him and said, Tad, what can I do for you? And Tad said, this man needs to talk to you. That story is a good illustration of what has happened to us. We have been walked to the King of Kings, given access to God through Jesus Christ. And you and I have a responsibility to do the same for others. First, I want us to notice that Tad did not have the power or the authority to help this man. But because he had access and he knew what he could do, he helped the man to get that access. In the same way, we have been given access to the King of Kings, the one who can deal with all our issues. And that access, according to the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 18, is our privilege. The question is, what are you doing with that privilege? Are you opening the door for other people to access the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who can resolve their issues? And there are different ways that we can do this. We do it by speaking about the King of Kings. In other words, witnessing, telling them about what God can do, what he has done for them, dying on the cross. But we can also do that through prayer, asking God to intervene in the lives of the people that are around us, that are dejected, that have been beaten by life. You have a responsibility. The access that you have been given is to be used for the honor of the kingdom. It is to be used for the benefit of the people that are around you. Christians exist for the good of their, you know, they are the society, the people that are around them. And you and I are part of that body. We call ourselves the Church of Jesus Christ. We exist for the good of the non-members, to bring them to a place where they encounter God and they benefit because of what we have learned. It is not just for us. I want to urge you to take your responsibility seriously and to do what is your portion and what it is that God expects of you. Become like Tad, a caring person that is interested in the welfare of others, and you will be a blessing. In the same book of Ephesians chapter 2, in verse 14, it says that what Jesus did was to bring two warring uh, factions together. It says, for he himself is our peace, who made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. The Lord Jesus came to reconcile those who, were opposed to, those who were opposed to God so that they can become one. And he said when he left in the book of John that as my father has called me and sent me, so send I you. So we have the same mandate of making sure that those who are opposed to God are reconciled. Those people that are fighting each other are reconciled. And we do that by accessing God through prayer, 
but also taking people to God through our witnessing. May God bless you as you do this. And if this is a blessing to you, I kindly ask that you share it in your social platforms. God bless you.